Hello friends, welcome to another session of video tutorial on Selenium Java. Today we are going to take a look at file upload and download. Uh, this is the most uh, watched topic and most of them have used uh, Auto8. But today I'm going to try using Sikuli to automate file upload and download. Please subscribe, like, share, comment the videos on this channel. If you have any training inquiries, please contact me at techtrainerraj at gmail.com. Okay, so let us see how to upload and download the files using Sikuli. Okay, the first thing to understand is file upload and download. These are all Windows controls. Selenium by default doesn't provide the APIs to control or work with Windows controls. So that is why we have to use the other tools such as Auto8. Okay. So let us flip over to Eclipse. Uh, before that, the website which I'm going to use to work with file upload and download is the internet hero kuapp.com. Okay, in here I have file upload and file download. So whenever I click on file upload, and if you choose the file, this is a Windows control, not a browser control. Okay, so Selenium will not be able to handle. Uh, this control uh, selenium doesn't provide any apis to work with this control so this is upload window the download window is also quite similar to this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new project again a maven project click on next i'm going to create a simple project without any archetype i'm going to give it as edu dot raj tech trainer and artifact id i'm going to give it as uh, file upload download okay and click on finish So let me close all of these. Okay, so it has created an empty Maven project for me now. So there are a few things which I need here. And the first one is okay, I need to add three dependencies here. One is selenium dependency the other one is test ng and the third one is sikuli so let me add that okay after creating this project let me add the dependencies into uh, palm.xml open up palm.xml uh, there are three dependencies which I'm going to add. The first one is Selenium dependency. The second one is uh, TestNG dependency. And the third one is Sikuli dependency. So I have that already copied here. Okay. And then I'm going to paste it here. And this should go under dependencies. Okay, dependencies. Okay, and then save it. The next thing is to add a class file. So right click, okay. Before adding the class file, I need to add a, a package. So right click on source main Java folder, go to package. Okay, here I'm going to add edu dot raj tech trainer dot up 
down click on finish okay inside this package i'm going to add a new class i'm going to call it as i'm going to create two classes one is file upload sample i'm going to call it as upload sample okay since i'm going to use test engine i'm not going to enable this main click on finish this class will be used to work with file upload only file upload only so what i'm going to do is from the previous class uh, or previous session i'm going to take the the init as well as the tear down part i'm going to take the initialization part and the tear down part and then copy it across here okay i copied it from the file which i created in the previous session okay please go and watch all the other sessions you know related to this the one which i have taken is uh, from alert sample okay so i have added before method and after method so inside um, for before method i'm initializing the property and i'm initializing the driver and then i'm going to go to that url and under tear down i'm closing the driver so the next thing is i need to add a test method okay i'm adding test annotation public void okay i'm going to call it as file upload okay i have created this okay and i'm going to import this okay i have created this file upload method inside this method what i need to do is all the file upload operations will be through this method okay so let me open up internet hero kuapp.com okay and the first thing i need to click on is uh, file upload link and so for this i'll copy the link text okay and click on file upload link driver dot find element by dot uh, link text okay so this dot click will click on the file upload link so that is the first step so after clicking on file upload i need to click on choose file so that is the second step and to find out the xpath or id so i'll right click on the button click on inspect i'll inspect this element okay so this has got id called file upload i'm going to use the id okay so here driver dot find element by dot id so the id is file upload and then click so here i'm going to click on file upload button okay so after clicking on this button the next step would be the next step would be to to automate this window 
so this is where i'm going to take the help of sequely okay, so this is the uh, file upload window to work with this window i need to create few images uh, the main images which i'm looking at is this file name so this is where i'm going to put the file name and click on open so i need to uh, get the images of this text box and this button okay so let me take the screenshot of this open up ms paint okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this Okay, uh, paste this. I'm going to save this as Okay, so this I'm going to save it as upload file name up file name.png. Click on save. Now I need to go back and select the, the button. Okay, copy this, select this button alone. Okay, control C and then go back and open up a new one and then paste it here okay so i'm going to save this as file open dot png okay save now i have two images which i needed okay after i click on this i need to work with that window to work with that window i need to create a an object of screen class I have earlier made a video on how to use SQL for authentication window so you can take a look at that video and then come back to this okay so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use screen okay SCR is equal to new of screen and then match the pattern i'm going to use pattern class pattern ptn is equal to new of pattern and i'm going to use the the image path here i'm going to pass in the image path where we have recorded earlier okay so okay so we have saved our images here so the image which i am looking at is up file name okay so i'm going to go to properties and then copy the location and add it here along with the name of the file the name of the file is up file name png okay. 
Okay, so I need to have double slash here. Okay, so this is the pattern which I'm trying to match. So after clicking on this choose file, uh, it'll open up this open uh, uh, window and inside this, it will try to find this pattern, whatever we have recorded earlier. Okay, once it finds this pattern on the screen, then we need to type in the full path of the file to upload. The, the file which we are going to use is this test.txt which is located under D delete folder. Okay, so what I need to do is from here, I'm going to use the screen object dot type. Okay, and then I need to use the overloaded method target and string okay so to use that what is the target which we are, are trying to add that path to is this ptn and then what is the value the value will be the path of the file which is d colon slash delete slash test dot text okay i need to provide the full path of the file i'm going to throw this exception for the time being and after providing the file path i need to click on that button okay so to click on that button i need to create another pattern object this i'm going to call it as pattern button and the file name will be your the same path with file open dot png okay so uh, instead of up file name i'm going to use file open dot png and here i'm going to call again screen dot click on the target ptn button And then I'm going to do thread dot sleep just to check whether it is really entering those values or not. Okay, so again, unhandled exception. So I'm going to throw this exception. Okay. Okay. So let me run this and see what happens. Save this. To run this, go to the the file java file right click on it and run as test ng test okay it's opening up the browser now goes to that url okay it has clicked on that now test and clicked on open okay. as you can see it has chosen that particular file okay so far so good okay. after choosing the file we need to upload we need to click on upload button so let us inspect this button right click inspect and this has got a class called button and this also has got id so i'm going to use this id okay um click on upload button so again driver dot find element by dot id okay. 
dot click okay this statement will click on that upload button okay so let us see what happens if i choose okay i choose gecko driver.exe click on upload Okay, after uploading the file, you will be getting this file uploaded confirmation page. Okay, um, so for that, I need to wait here. So after uploading and clicking on this, I need to wait for that. So thread dot sleep again. I'm going to wait for 10 seconds before that appears. Okay. Okay, so again, save this, right click on this, and so let us run this again, right click, run as test ng test. Okay, it's opening up the browser. chooses the file clicks on open and then okay so it has clicked on upload and the file has has been uploaded okay so this is how we can make use of sql to upload file the same way uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another class here inside this called download sample download sample click on finish i'm going to copy the The content of this class entirely onto this file also okay after copying uh, I need to change few things here so at a test I'm going to call this as file download okay so here instead of file upload that is first step okay and after that so i need to okay after clicking on this file download okay all these are available for, uh, for me to download i need to click on one of these Okay, so let us say script dot text. Okay, from this window, I need to select this file name again and then click on save. So, so this is again a Windows control. Uh, from this, I need to have a pattern for file name because I want to save it in some other location, not the default location, and I need to have the pattern for save also okay so this we haven't done it before this we haven't done it earlier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to print the screen and set control V okay the first pattern which I need is this file name Okay, I'm going to open up another MS Paint and save this. Save as again to the same location. This I'm going to call it as down location dot png. Okay, so the next thing which I need to have is I need to click on this save button. So I will take the 
I will select this and crop copy this and then I'm going to create a new file paste it here save as I'm going to call this as down save okay so these two files I'm going to use inside this okay after clicking on file download um, I need to click on one of the link to click on one of the link I need to find out the X path of this so let us assume that I'm going to download this script and txt okay right click on this click on inspect and this is a a so this is a link okay uh, which is which contains script or text okay so I can use the link text here um, click on file to download download this time find element by link text dot link text what is the link text which we have it is script dot txt okay dot click okay once I click on that I'll be getting that download screen so I need to initialize this the screen object again and I need to create a pattern this time it is the first pattern I'm going to use is down location okay So down location dot png and then I need to type in okay the the file which I'm going to download I'm going to download it into this particular uh, folder I need to call this as downloaded script I will call it as downloaded script file okay the second pattern is I need to click on that button uh, for that also we have a pattern okay and this is called down save okay I'm going to call this as down save dot png and then click on that button and I don't need this I need to wait for five seconds for it to download okay so what I have done quickly here is I have not changed anything in the initialize I have not changed anything in the teardown the only thing which I did was in I changed the uh, under test I changed the the method name to file download and I'm trying to find the element which is file download link and I'm clicking on that link and then I'm trying to uh, find where this script dot text exists on that particular page which is a link I'm clicking on that link and then the download uh, windows control will open and I'm trying to match this pattern wherein I wherein I'm going to provide the path way to download that particular file to and then I'm clicking on save button okay so let us save this okay so let us run this now right click run as test ng test
opens up the URL, clicks on download and clicks on script. Okay. So one thing which we missed here is by default. So whenever I open up the browser, okay, this Chrome driver opens up the browser. Uh, whenever I click on that link, so it will automatically uh, download. So we have to tell the browser uh, to uh, pop up that download window so that we can save it to a different location. To do that, okay, here the test failed because uh, by default what happens is uh, whenever uh, the browser opens up the settings um, under downloads there is a setting called ask where to save each file before downloading so whenever uh, chrome driver opens up the browser this will be set to false okay to get the download uh, window we need to enable this before we open up the browser okay so we need to set those preferences for this particular browser and then initialize the browser okay so how do we do that uh, under initialize okay to save some time okay so i will explain what this does okay so these four lines i have added just now so as i told that you know before we open up the browser we need to set some preferences wherein this prompt for download needs to be set to true okay so we set it by creating a hash map okay by creating a hash map inside that hash map we will add this preference called download dot prompt for download and set that to true that means every time it should ask me where to save the file after putting this property into hash map we need to have a chrome option okay we need to set chrome options we need to create an object of chrome options and inside that we need there is a method called set experimental option under preferences we need to set the preferences whatever we set using the hash map okay and those options needs to be passed in as a parameter to your chrome driver so we are not going to use the default driver is equal to new chrome driver instead we will be passing the options which we created using chrome options class okay so i have changed these four lines or four five lines so that it asks me every time okay so after adding these four lines let us run this again so right click run as test ng test opens up uh, opens up the url okay as soon as it clicked on that Okay, so okay, the test failed because uh, it was appending this particular text into the existing text. So <clears throat> what we need to do is we need to clear the text before we add this text into the text box. To clear the text, what I need to do is scr dot type key dot backspace as soon as i click on the link 
uh, that particular text will be completely selected if I click on backspace that particular text will get deleted and then it will type the new text okay this particular statement was missing um, after adding this I need to uh, rerun this so right click on this run as test ng test okay so it has cleared and then save the file okay so this is how we can use uh, securely to upload and uh, download the files from a web page okay so that is the end of today's session please stand by for more videos on this channel thanks for watching